All right, wonderful people. All right, wonderful people, great people of Biafra. Today is also a wonderful day. Today is a wonderful day. I'm coming to set the record straight, please. Come, come, come. I'm coming to set the record straight. Um, I thank you all today. I would like to call people's name. Uh, Sang. Shinedum. Shineke, welcome. You are also welcome. I would like to call people's name because uh, I think it's been, um, I think almost four days that I never come direct live. And I want you all also to follow me on my short video because uh, most of the time people complain about their data. And that is why sometimes I also go on uh, short video so that you can be able to watch it. Ndubisi, Annie, you are welcome to this wonderful program. As you are joining, please don't hesitate to invite your friends, invite your families, invite your neighbors, those that are around you. I am here once again to preach the gospel of redemption, the gospel of freedom. And as you are joining, make sure you go to the article because it's very, very important. We are going to talk about a lot of things and I believe that at the end I will also open my line for people to call because there's something about our people, our people always want you to explain everything to them. But I want you people to write name. I know sometimes the name will start coming up. I just I will give it like a, maybe like a, some seconds. The name will start coming up and then I will begin to call people because it's very, very important that I call the people's name, those that are here to listen. You know, we are here to listen, we are here to learn. I'm not coming here every single day that I know it all. No. But uh, I learn also from people. And uh, when I learn and it's good for me and I understand it, of course, I would also like to uh, preach it out to our people. Uh, where is our people? So I will begin to call names. It's very important. I call names. And I have a lot of videos to show our people. I have said this time with that number. Nigeria. Nigeria is not a, a nation. And I will prove it beyond reasonable doubt today. And some of you that are saying, you don't know those are going to disrupt the election in Biafra land. I'm going to call them because this is the time we are going to invite the Nigerian media, the media room of that contraption called Daminable Zoo, people like Channel Television, people like AIT, people like Arise Television, that they should come and listen. Because of tomorrow, he will cover story. Because, and they say we shouldn't talk about them. No, I'm going to talk about them. I am going to talk about them. It does not matter. It seems that people or did they block it for people to write their name? Did they block it? Um very, very important, very, very important that we talk about things that is happening to us. Also talk about Mazin Nandioku Chukukano, who is still today in DSS dungeon. And um, a lot of people don't even want to talk about him. But we are here to talk about Mazin Namdekano, a man that brought this ideology to us. We are not going to forget about him. Uh, we heard about what uh, Soludo said. Um, I'm not going to condemn what he said, but there's some certain things that he also said that is, I did not agree with him. Is Agnes, evangelist. Uzoku, Mwoke, watching from Biafra Land. Agnes, Mwoke, Mwokike. Mwokike, you are welcome to this wonderful program. Uh, Stan, 
she me doom. Uh, we are, I want people to write name. I want people to write name. Let me call them. So why are you here? Just comment. Comment so I call your name. Comment. It's not easy for you to be here listening to gospel of redemption because everything we are saying is gospel. I want to thank Mazen Namdu Kuchukukano Nkeshi Nkeshi greeting from Biafra land, Biafra France worldwide. Greeting from here, Biafra France worldwide. My sister, I thank you for being here today. Uh, we are going to talk about a lot of things. Um, I'm going to tell our people the reason why, uh, because when you go out on social media, some people will be saying, uh, does it mean that uh, we are involved in this election that is coming? Or if we are involved in election, we are go I'm going to discuss all these things. And um, I'm going to also play a lot of videos. I'm going to play a video of Katona Line. I'm going to also play a video of a Berima in Finland because I'm not going to stop. Why I'm saying all these things is when it will happen because this is what really happened from the beginning. Happy and on your album, Yukuna, Shino, you are welcome to this wonderful program. You are welcome to this wonderful program. They will say, I allow him. He is not a. It's not a disturbing what we are doing. It's not, but at the end, you will see that he is the one that causing the problem. At the end, they will target on IPOB. That is the reason why we will start from the Genesis and begin to let the world understand that we are not involved. They have to understand it. And they have to, to bear us witness when time comes. So that they will not say that it's IPOB because everybody is IPOB. Of course, we are all IPOB. But there is a family member, those that are championing this struggle. Those they call Umuchuko Kikabiyama. I know some of you won't like what I'm saying, but this is the way it is. And what have you contributed in this struggle? Nothing. You are just waiting there. One of your legs is here. One of your legs is here. Some will tell you, I don't even know when Biafra will come. So let me remain here. When Biafra come, we move on. You are none. You are none of us. Um, and I also have, um, if we are involved, IPOB lead by Mazin Namdioku Chukukano, if we are involved in election, you know, uh, there is something our people have to understand that what is constant in life is change. And I'm going to explain it more better so that our people will understand. Um, as uh, Ushina, you are welcome. Peter Wanshineke, you are welcome to this wonderful program. Simon Iberima is not IPOB because his father is from Fulani. Of course, Nkechi Nkechi, you get it right. Uh, we have set it down with that number. When Biafra comes, uh, we are going to make a DNA. We are going to run a DNA from all these infiltrators, even though our red caps, we will run a DNA on them. Uh, Peter Wachineke, you are welcome. Because we know that part of them, they are not part of us. And you cannot be an Ebiafra, you cannot be an Igbo speaking person and be in a behave or in a behave canama. It's unacceptable. All right, wonderful people, great people of Biafra Freedom Fighters. I salute you all once again today in the name of Chukwo Kikabia. A man that gave us Mazin Nam Deoku Chukukano. A man that sent Mazin Nam Deoku Chukukano to come and uh, open our eyes so that we can be able to understand the ethics of this life. Because believe you me, Africa don't know what it is. Africa are still in this primitive, in other words, dark ages that they, they don't even understand that they are moving forward. When you ask African man, he will tell you we are developing. You are not developing. You are still in dark ages. You know, sometimes you will see some African people, they are using iPhone Pro Max, the new one, iPhone 11. You, you think that you are, you are, you are, you are developing. No. They are de you see, there is something that you people are 
developing. You think that you have a car that what you are driving Ferrari and you think that you are developing. No. Please, 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 my daughter, please, please, please be there. Please, Daxi. Daxi. Bravo, bravo. Thank you. Thank you. You will see some of our people driving Ferrari in, uh, in, in that contraption, you know, building mansion. You think that these people are reasoning. No. Do you know what is called development? Do you know what it is that you are in a, a new era? In Nigeria today, there is no infrastructure. There is no good road. There is no good water. There is no motorable road. There is no company where people can work. That is why I still telling people, we are going to also talk about the pastors. I heard, I listened to Radio Biafra this morning. I, I heard one pastor that was, was saying that uh, uh, Mazen Namdekano said you should worship what you are. Okay, in Ninja with this suit in upon Akewon. Mazen Namdekano told you, go and jump from a uh, from, uh, 30 story and you will die. Mazen Namdekano tell you. Mazen Namdekano said when Biafra comes. And I want to tell you people, and I stand on it, and I'm going to show a lot of videos that you see all these religious bigots. They are one of the major problems we have. And all this in the Dibia, in the ocean, all this internet Dibia, in the phone, Elysia Castle, this is not our ordinary. He have our ordinary. This is some people that they believe that this is opportunity for them to begin to stole and defraud our people. With no power. I've been calling people like a TV Joshua's when they were still alive. I'm calling people like Oye oh, Dipo them or Aki, these people. This is the people I call that you people believe they have power. So, what of those small, small rats? Able of a fast nine or power, and then I was your magic. And my magic, I put a seven and a half. When they build 1,000 people on 1 million, they will go and just connect one person. So, the person will come, they will say that uh, he make me rich. He is the one that make me rich. By that time, he have built like 1,000 people, 1, 1 million. When the 1,000 people out of 800 pay money, this is how the guy will be rich. And out of 1, 1 million they pay that he recovered, maybe he, he have more, maybe like uh, 20 million, he will call one idiot from there. You know free money. Our people so much love, love free money. He will call him and give him 2 million. Say that I'm the one that make you rich. And the man will claim it. He's the one, free money. Who don't like free money? That is how these people make money. They are nobody. I saw one again that he came out. He was saying that uh, uh, Dibia, Kaa Dibia, uh, they will bring Mazen Namdekano out. And I mean, coldly. Nonsense. You want to bring Mazen Namdekano out, and uh, who are you coming to tell? Why can't you do it by yourself and bring him out and come and take the glory? Call two or three people. Tell them, listen, I am the one that's going to bring. Call somebody like me. I will register it. I will bring Mazen Namdekano out. Call two or three people. I will stamp it. Go and do your work and come out. If not here, not cool, not cool. You know, it's bad, not common sense. You know, sometimes our people think that, you know, judiciary is not juju level. You must, you know, bring your complaint. You must bring your witness. You must, you must present everything necessary to counter that case. I have a lot of people who are in the bank. In a walk, what Fulani is killing in uh, any good state, they massacred our people, the Fulani people. You did not, or one if he met a hippotana and I've been a job of the Mazen and the Karakato Rayego. It just everywhere and dearly, really. I don't support all those nonsensical because I believe in reality. But let me introduce myself before we move on on today's our broadcast because we have a lot of things to discuss. All right, great people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on Biafran Television Channel 1 slash IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin Nandi Ochuku Ochuku Kano. Here we are. We set the record straight. My name is Mazo Kenna Okechuku, known as the Biafran Chai Dumwashineke. The general, I am from Ihala in Anambra, Anambra in Biafra land. I am IPOB on the chain of command. Like I always tell my people, 
and I will never stop on this. And I know some of them will be feeling bad. There will be pain in their heart. And who cares? Mazen Namdi Okuchuku Kano is the highest commander of this movement. I know most of our people, they are daft in score. They will keep on asking who is the highest authority. It's a Mazen Namdi Okuchuku Kano. Who is still today in DSS dungeon. Upon the competent court in that contraption called Daminable Zoo have freed him. But one individual called Anthony General, I don't even understand. Holding him. What you can never happen to any Fulani? Do you think that any Fulani man, being even though a terrorist, we have saw them many times, isn't it? When they caught them, where in the in the process of killing, maiming of our people. After six months, they say they went to rehabilitation camp. You know, after six months, they give them uniform. They integrate them again to the society to begin to kill. Now you see how they take their own out. There is this thing that is happening to only Duma, it can never happen to any Fulani. And our governor's representatives, Ndiri, Ndiri, or Malami should obey the court order. Now, of course, are we talking about Malami also? What of our representatives? That is why I said that those people that are representing the Biafran people, these people have no boss or gods to stand on their own. These people are shadow, they are chasing shadow. A man will come out, you know, 8 o'clock in the in the evening, say that uh, you should free Mazen Namdekano. 6 o'clock early in the morning, he will call him, he will say that the Ayaboki, uh, Alaj from Dawora, is not me. It's my shadow is speaking, or I'm in the dream. I don't know when I said this. Now you understand how Mugu our people is. That is why I said that when Biafra comes, we are going to run DNA. Mazen Namdekano have said it, and we stamp it. Because everything that is happening, we are taking the record. That is who we are. Whether you like it, it will be one no game I don't lie about what I'm saying. I'm going nowhere. They may yap, they may talk all sort of rubbish, everything half time. When I will come back again, I will come back with my question because I never stop. I said it. And those of you guys, I said it. I'm not running. You think I'm afraid to do what? Who are you? Do you have double head? We are living in a place that there is a humanity. That is why we love it. Now you understand. So I don't know the reason why these people don't want to talk about Mazen Nandoku Chukukano so that he will be released. Discharged. A man that has been discharged. And some idiot was there telling us that Mazen Nandekano was a mountain praying. Idiot for that matter. Stupidity and nonentity. Dear lady, our brother, our mazin on a mountain, why he is in the house of enemy. We will keep on asking the question. We are not going to stop. Of course, we are not going to stop. The personal secretary to Onyendu is there writing on Twitter handle. Onyendu is writing, composing. Oh, God, on a day, on a day, no, bo, obo, zi, bag, I'm a mifenga, we. The mazin on a day, on a kandiro, we, on a day, on a, maka Onyendu, we, de, we, we, who is the person, let me send it to where he belongs to. Stop deceiving yourself. Stop with this. Let me, let me, I think I can find him. Let me put it where he belongs to. Osno, where, okay, stop deceiving yourself. Stop with every, yeah, care about, okay. Ma, I will take it easy. I will take it. I will not go into abuse. Because some of you people, your mother have disowned your people. Some of you people, I keep on saying that Amahomo, Amahomi here me do mana affording there. I don't know. I don't even know why Berima is not seeing all this cowardice. Those people that they lack ability to reason. That those people that animal is better than them. Their frontal lobe is not working. I don't know why Berima is not seeing all these people, but they are there. I don't know why hope who's or them. Hope of them is not visiting all these kind of people that they are brain damaged. Because when somebody is brain damaged, he's don't reason anymore. They are brain. When, you see, when person is brain damaged, on I don't know why hope of them one is not seeing them. I, I don't know why it's not seeing them. I don't I hope I did not uh, I did not block you. No, I did not block Kishin Kishin, No, I blocked the person that. Uh, that, uh, that, uh, no, 
Wait. No, I did not block the kitchen kitchen. No, I did not. Ada, please. Ada, please, I want you to write something because I think, but I did not. I don't think I blocked you. Ada and Keshin Keshin, if you are still there, write it because I, 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 I went through your what you just put out there. Okay, no, I did not block you. How can I block you? I'm block is okay. my fine, amen. So let me continue on this preamble because I just want to use this to water my ground before I will get to the business that we have today, and I will prove everything beyond reasonable doubt. I will tell you that what is constant in life is change. I will tell you the reason why we can never come out and begin to shout no election in Biafra land. That is your will. That is your wish. Go there and practice whatever you want. At the end, you will come back and begin to say that this IPOB and DOS are real wise. You will know. You will know. You know, our people like explanation. And that is the reason why I'm here, to explain more better so that you can be able to reason. And after I don't today, if you don't understand, believe you me, you cannot anymore. You are part of those people that your brain have damaged like Dave Bugari that was died in London Hospital with the brain damage. Before he got to London, he have already died. He died. He died in, death. in Morocco called this thing. So, um, I want to tell our people today we must buckle our belt and embark on this journey of Biafran Restoration Project because this is only what can save us. If we want humanity to stand in that contraption or those indigenous people that have find themselves in that contraption, Nigeria must cease to exist. The bacchanization of Nigeria is the solution. And I'm still standing there regardless what uh, maybe one or two Governor may say, I may stand with the governor on that, I mean, because of what he said, but I'm not supporting anybody because I am a freedom fighter. That is something that you have to understand. The reason why they said that no has na mazin nam the canon on a mountain Habi Agba you go to where okay from mountain or gabazina a bruzia gaba kenya. Oh my god. I just you mana you are gonna gear. Can let me go for today's uh, business and time will come that I will still come back because maybe probably they think that uh be a franchise they watch like I have run away. Mbako I have said mbo son nem mbo son nem and my gun corner gale man. Now um like I said, Mazin Nam the Kano is the highest commander of this movement. And the Mazi Chik, Dosiem is the man in charge on absence of our leader, Mazi Namdekano. Whatever he says stands. Every of his word stands. When he tells you to stay, if you buy Baka Baka, we remove you. If it doesn't suit you, you wait till Onyendo comes. On what if he get man? On what no? On what he get me before? You can't do anything. You cannot do anything. If by say baka baka we do, if Mazin Zurumi came, call on a phone. You see his number. You don't reply. He call you back. He busy. We remove you. One day, if you don't suit you, you wait. Running the comes. Then you complain. You can't do anything. And this is the way it is. If you think that we are coming here for family business, if you think that the Biafran child in Wachineke, Mazo, Kenino, Kichuku is here for follow follow freedom fighter, Chuku Abo, Woko. Very, very soon, I am the kind of character that restored in me. Because you people don't know that I, no one day, but I, I told, you see, when Onyen do comes out this time around, he will know that those people that he was talking about, no one day, but that now, before we followed him, we follow his footstep. Before we accept him, we know him very well. And we are here to ask a question. You see, Onyendu will make a broadcast here to tell you that I don't need person to praise me. I need a critical question so that I can be able to answer it. That is when, when Onyendu you will say that, ah, those people we are looking for, see them here. They have come. They have come. I told you people. I have been broadcasting more than nine years. 
And when I was broadcasting, I was doing this because Olindu was out here. I just want to help our people. Because if I tell you that I'm helping Olindu, I'm lying. I'm, I'm following his footstep. At the same time, helping our people. Because if I say that I am helping Olindu, that means that I never start. What we are doing is for Biafra to come. For the goodness of our own people. That is what we are doing. And the same thing Mazen Namdekan is fighting for. So what do you want? Now you understand. So when Mazen Namdekan will come out, he will understand that those people that he's looking for, they are here. Aga Boga. There is a lot of things that is... Because I will not lie to you people. When Mazen Namdekan was out here, I don't want to get so involved by asking some questions I, even though i have some contact of some the leadership before but i don't call them because i know the kind of person will be say i want to come closer to you so that you i will be known no i don't do that like i always tell people since all this why mazin namkan was calling people i never spoke with this man before i never talked to him before why should i talk to him because i'm fighting for our own land that thing that he sent that ideology that he brought have entered into my mind. And that is exactly what I'm doing. I don't need to go closer to him. I don't need to take picture with him. So that people will say, eh, I know you do a meet. We have met in different places. More than three, up to three places. I have met Onyendu live. You see? But no picture. No conversation. Because I don't need it. So, uh, Onyendu, there is a lot of mistakes that we have also seen. Even though also in code of conduct that like person like me that for me is unacceptable even though in code of conduct that you don't supposed to be like that because we are fighting for freedom should in case if such a thing happen what are we going to do what are we going to do that is why today we are having a lot of problems onyendu may say you are a mystery onyendu may say you are head of a, 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 a woman leader uh, you are a, a head of a, a or dictator, and now they kidnap on you. All of them, we are coming out say, "I am head of this. I am head of this." All this thing don't supposed to happen. All this thing that is why you see today there is a lot of problem. They say this one will say, "Oh, you give me this power." Oh, you say uh, the money that you don't see uh, anything. I copy your blue story, but you know that on absence of any leader. There must be second in command. This is how it is. Now, because of all these things that Onyendu said, some people will come and say, eh, we are the air ministry. Onyendu said that, eh, I remember when eh, some people came from America, he said, Bridget Okafor, uh, Rabbit Shas, and uh, another woman. They said that Onyendu said, one uh, broadcaster Onyendu may say, if I want to do something very important, this is the people I will send. Now these people now are beginning to see themselves as also the same thing with Mazichi Kedozim. That is the problem. That is the problem we have on absence of our leader. Everybody want to become a, a, a chairman. Everybody want to be on top of that city. And they don't even know their, their position. They don't even know their jurisdiction. They want to double into things that they don't supposed to be there. That is why I said there's a lot of, of course, one nation, there's no mistake, you're a liar. Oh, move, William. We are franchised. Write it down. There's a lot of mistakes. But we are not coming here to blame Onyendu. No. Because I want you people to understand what I'm saying. I will never blame him. He is a woman. You know, sometimes uh, most of you that believe in all these superstitious, when I channel Onyendu and Wiki, make a mistake. Onyendu can make a mistake. He's a woman. He is a woman. The mistake can always occur. As we are human, we are not perfect. So if Onyendu make a mistake, it's a mistake. That does not mean that Naiga Abotia, Omoya Abotia, Onyendu, Onyendu, like I said, he is the highest commander in this movement that we are, the highest authority. And we respect him so much. But some of you that are talking about family business, do you know that I'm, I cannot travel? Do you know that? So now you know. So now you know. Let me tell you people something. It's not today they begin to cook for me. They have been cooking for me, even though, go and ask who pulls them one now. Go and ask him. Lying from pit of hell. Lying against me. Lying. Saying this. Saying that. Just to make sure that people see me as a bad person. But we have come. We are not going back. Um, 
I want to start with this. You know, when I told you that Nigeria is not a nation, Nigeria is a, um, what can I put it? Nigeria is a stream, mainstream business to British people. I will break it down and I will prove it beyond reasonable doubt. You will begin to understand what I'm saying. Without you going to 10 Darlington or Darlington, straight, you can never be anybody in that contraption. If cut on a line, never, you know, interfere in your election, nobody can sit. And that is something that I want you people to understand. And Nigeria is not a nation. A nation whereby one individual will be controlling over 36 plus federal capital, what they call it, begin there, stay in his comfortable zone and begin to give order. That is why in Akwaibon, a governor of Akwaibon arrested almost 10 Fulanese with sophisticated weapons and assorted rifles, explosion, and he arrested them. One idiot in Abuja give order, release them, give them all their ammunition back, and that is exactly what he did. They take it back and go away. You see why I'm saying that Nigeria is not a... Nigeria can never walk. It's not a nation. Do you know that in Nigeria, one idiot to call God president is more powerful than the, than the citizen that put him in that power? Now, let me show you what I'm talking about. You will see how a man called himself a Nigerian was talking to a woman that came from England. And you see how the guy was talking to the woman like uh, you are the you are the no wabo without you nothing can happen. Now let us begin to listen. You will see how humble, how obedient, how I don't know the man have turned to ice water because he see Oyibo. Oyibo, hi. Because he see Oyibo, the man turned to ice water. And Katrina Line herself begin to say yes. But just let us see how she was. How the woman was coming to sign the condolence for, for her late majesty, uh, Queen Elizabeth. Where is he? That's when we last met. In our lost Elizabeth. And what is our problem if you lost Elizabeth? Elizabeth that uh, massacred our people. <sighs> Sign the condolence for, for her late majesty, uh, Queen Elizabeth II. That's when we lost. Uh, the same Queen Elizabeth II is the one that said that Biafra will never come in 1967 to 1970. They blockage all the whole foods. Now they are telling you blockage is weapon of war by killing people, innocent kids. You see, that is how they reason. That is how they massacred over five millions of our people. And today, nobody is talking about them. They don't even call it a genocide. But in Armenia, that only one million died. They say it's a genocide. But our own, more than five million died. They nobody, they nobody talk about it because you are primitive African people that don't even reason and understand the mess that you are into. Without these people, you cannot live. That is what we are coming here to change. The narrative. Of yesterday, if I hear gamma, hear gamma by force, well, we must make you to learn. Of course, we must make. You. Let us listen. Those. Uh... Um, so this is a, um, the final probably meeting I'm having with the key political parties. So I've been meeting all the presidential candidates and all the party chairmen. So uh, it's been it's very helpful to me to be able to hear directly from you. And I'll ask you a few questions in a minute. But the basic um, points to make in this introduction is that obviously the UK yes. doesn't have a vote in this election. Um, what we what we want to see, along with our colleagues in the international community, is a credible, safe, peaceful election where the people of Nigeria are free to choose who they want to represent them at presidential level, at the various governor levels, and so on. 
Um, so that's our stake in this. And the reason it does matter to the UK is because of the importance of the partnership. It does a much. Nigerian election does a much. And they are so interested because it's one of their biggest partners. So you got to go. Hi. What is the problem? Have you taken the water? It's been in the row. Hey, it's part in the row. Yati? I have to give my daughter water. Just one minute, my people. You see, um, some of you, there is something that our, our leader's wife said. You know, this British English sometimes, if you don't understand this, please go and find somebody that will explain more better. You will understand that, you see, without these people, there is nothing can ever work in that contraption. They are the, you know, the operator. They are the people that are holding the remote Telling you what we do, you will do if you fail. Let us continue listening. You will see the man now that is called himself a Nigerian. You will see now how he's talking to somebody that was if that is a foreigner in that contraption. Now is back. Oh, I What these people have done to our people? Subjugation. That these people have done to our people is too much. Let us continue. UK and Nigeria obviously have a long, deep history. Whatever ups and downs, we're bound together almost as one people. We're bound together. And one this people. election yeah. uh, really matters. Uh, so, for example, recently I know the president was in the US for the um, the Africa Leaders Summit. It was noted there, and it's noted by our um, our senior politicians, including our Prime Minister, that the election in Nigeria, the eyes of the world, will be on it um, because you're the largest democracy in Africa, and you're country that's been stuck with it for since since 1999 and each election has seemed to us to get a little bit better there's not been without challenges and setbacks but the general direction of travel has been exactly in the right one for you know strengthening Nigeria. tell me tell me look at this look at this woman look at this woman no na na kwaibo na agba skerewu this katona right he went to akwaibo he was dancing skerewu why they are maiming our people in any good state? This woman never say anything about our people that full and is that are coming from Sahel. Massacre and maim. She never said anything. It was in a quite bonta since Now she's telling you that the Nigerian election is improving since 19, I think 1990 is improving. Tell me the, 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 the election they leaked between Jonathan and uh, and the uh, then Bugari, that even Jonathan himself come out, he came out, said that Obama interfering in that election. Not that he did not want the election, but it just interfering because of Obama. Now you understand. Now the woman is telling you that you people are improving as the masters that are telling you you are doing well, you are not doing well. If the woman comes and say it's perfect, then we say yes, we are doing well. A non-entity and idiot that we ourselves have already learned and understand the way of this life. And these people will not still allow us. That is why you see, I keep on saying this, you see all these representatives you see in that contraption, none of them reason. Forget about attaching professor or philosophy or doctor to their name these people knows nothing these people don't reason these people don't understand they don't they don't that is why a woman will come from england down to that contraption begin to tell you you are doing well so you yourself you don't know maybe you are doing well or not so you don't know till he comes to tell you as a white oyibo now oyibo is coming to tell you if you are doing well now you understand the people that host nigeria Nigeria was created as a thread, a thread, the Ezuafia thread by Batam, by Royal Niger Company. That is what Nigeria is all about. That is why I keep on telling Nigeria is not a country, talkless of nation. No. And in this 
earth today, there is no country or the nation that you can bring water and oil together and you are calling it a nation. It can never work. It, as far as you people don't have the same belief or the same way of life, things can never work. Go to China, there are millions, but they have the same way of life. Go to India, they are more than Zoo called Nigeria, but they have the same way of life. They think the same. That is why you see in Indian, they did not amalgamate Indian people because they are one people. That is why in Ghana, they did not amalgamate any Ghanaians or Ghana because they are one people. They amalgamated Nigeria because we are not one people. Now you understand? And these people now are coming to tell you, you are doing well. Let us continue. Representation. And this is in a region where, unfortunately, there has been quite a lot of backsliding on democracy. You're in quite an unstable region with coups and presidents who've been clinging on to power for longer than they should. So Nigeria is to be commended, I think, for its democratic journey. And as I said, it matters. Well done. <laughs> so it matters See morons. See morons in Nigeria. They begin to clap. Do you know that they don't even understand what this woman is saying? They don't even understand the English from this woman, but they are clapping. Tell me the reason why these people are clapping because one of you come and tell you that you are doing well. One of you tell you that since 1990, from, from 1990, the, the, you people are getting normal. <laughs> and they are clapping. They are clapping. The, the, these people. I, uh, Africa. Africa. You people are still in very, very, very dark ages. That I don't know. I don't know. But we will get it right. One day we will get it right. Our people will wake up from their stupidity. Because our problem is stupidity. Not that we don't. We have, we have gotten a lot of learned people there. But they are still in that primitive. These dark ages, they are still there. Because they want to rule. Let us continue with this woman. We never get to the man that is asking him a question. A now a Nigerian now asking this work. Work. I got the wine. Omo omo. Yeah, I was say. Udini ane bute sre. Udini omo nde ba inje omo si aku ko. Oh yeah, we are like yeah, we are so that we are confuse everybody. A old a old dwarf. Omo nde ba inje a basi footballs here. Oh yeah, make sure almost sure of whom we are up here. Of here, I can wear camera, come to that zoo and begin to brainwash everybody, walloping all of your brain. Let us continue. Matters, matters to the world. Nigeria is a very important partner for us. The wait, wait, oh, we are, oh, we are, oh, we are, oh, we are, no, I'm a motor swear. Why? Oh yeah. And it matters, matters the world. Nigeria is a very important partner for us. And Nigeria is very important partner for us. Onanania. Nigeria is very important partner for us because they need your resources. They need your mineral resources to grow their country, to pay for their for their for their for their I mean uh, I mean so the children, those that are still under 18 years. To be able to take care of their old mothers, to be able to bring our people down for Africa to begin to clean up their old mothers. Now you understand. You are a very important partner to them. One now you are not going nowhere. Now you understand. You must reason by force. You must reason. Let me repeat it before we start going. I want people to pay attention there. Oh yeah, let's go. I will leave it for a while. Partner for us and a stable democratic Nigeria where people feel that. No, 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 no. Let me take it to two. No, no, because. Okay, Anya, please load that in place. Bitter, bitter, bitter. In quite an unstable region with coups and presidents who've been clinging on to power for longer than they should. So Nigeria is to be commended, I think, for its democratic journey. And as I said, it matters. Well done. <laughs> so it matters to the region and it matters, matters to the world. Nigeria is a very important partner for us. And a stable democratic partner. Nigeria where people feel that their vote reflects their, their preferences doesn't mean they get the candidate they want, but it means that as a whole, Nigeria has 
Minister has elected what the people as a whole want means that Nigeria hopefully will be able to progress in its numerous challenges on security front, on the economic front and so on. Whoever inherits the presidential ticket will inherit quite a number of, of challenges. But we, the international community, want to be with you step by step, particularly, particularly the UK. Oh, wait for now. It shock you again. He, she said, we are going to support all the candidates that is coming up on this election, that they are going to support anyone that become the president. And the international community are there to support them, especially the British people. <laughs> that is why they are there. <laughs> are you getting the point? I, in a multi I hope you are opening your eyes, especially the British people. Now, let me ask this Katrona line. And we are still coming there. Because you will see when our now, our brother now, I will call him a brother. Because he probably, he, I think he's from Urobo. Uh, not Urobo, this I'm a coastal region of Biafra. You will see how this man is dressed, addressing Katrona line. Like, I don't know, maybe he see uh, Virgin Mary coming out from the heaven. I don't even know. <laughs> or when they're, these people, I'm living with them here. I married one of them here. Why even though one of them that I married are praising me as a man, one idiot is there in Africa deceiving all of you people. Because it's Oyibo. Oyibo, Eli. They have destroyed and wallop all your brains. You people cannot reason without these people. And that is something that we are coming to change. And they are not liking our preaching. They don't love it. They see that we want to make sense to our people. So that they will begin to reason. Let us continue. Let us continue. We're very close now on the security side, on the electoral process side. Uh, do you have confidence in the, the BVAS system and so on? Is there anything worrying you? Is there anything we can, we can help with to ensure in these final weeks that we get to the point where INET can run the election uh, peacefully, where the, the National Peace Accord, all the principles that have been set out there can be adhered to? So we'd be very interested to hear from you how you see things at the moment. Okay. Okay, before we go to our brother. <laughs> hey, hey, a, best, <clears throat> a British woman now is telling you they are coming to, 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 I mean, to monitor so that INEC will do the needful. Tell me what this man have to do with INEC. As this woman, have you, uh, my question to you people that are watching me now, or some of you that are daft in score, some of you want Nigerianism, some of you that don't even understand what is playing. When and ever, have you ever seen election in British or in uh, Great Britain and they send a representative from Nigeria to begin to advise them? Have you seen something like that before? Have you seen something like that before? You know, when we are telling people, that is the reason why. Ma said, Nam the Kano, we keep on on these animals. People don't understand why Ma said, Nam the Kano is saying all these things. How can you call yourself a human? Somebody from another place is coming to decide for you what is good for you. And you know what is good for you. And you are waiting for him because he's pain. Is a uh, light or white or yellow. I don't know what color they have. That is the reason why today in our places, you see our women's, our men's, they are painting their body to become white. But we that we are living in the land of white land, we are not turning our color. And you people never want to reason. But these people, they are living there. They never change their color. And why are we in Africa changing our color? That is primitive. You don't even like yourself. You don't even appreciate what God gave to you. But we that we are living in Europe here, when we came here, we begin to understand that we are one of the strongest body and they love it. And you now living in Africa hate your color. You hate your own body that you could now give to you. You hate it because of your idiocy. Because of your stupidity. And when Mazen Namikano will come and call you people animal, you will begin to challenge him. He knows the reason why he's calling people animals. And the Mazen Namdekano is also a slip of tongue. 
by calling because animal is better than them. Maybe very soon I will show you people when they were commanding animal, he was lying down, you know, he was shitty, you know, you know, you know, I mean, like he is in, uh, he, the animal is in battlefield. They are telling the animal something. He was doing everything they tell the animal to do. In Nigeria, you don't know. That is why a white woman will come from nowhere and begin. Let us listen to our brother, what he, how he, now you will see how, you know, how they have already subjugated our people into. You will see how down our people is. And this man now that is asking this man this question, when he see his fellow black man or color person from his village, you will see where he could raise muscle. Eh, what do you mean? Am I not the one that speak uh, with a uh, Katrina line? Am I not the chairman? Am I not the one that uh, have interaction with her? Uh, who are you to talk to me? Or Babamba? Or Fubako? <laughs> because he was talking to a white woman. Of <laughs> Our people, you people are so, you people, our people are funny. I'm telling you. But we must change things. Let us listen to our brother. Hi, my brother. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But I want to especially welcome you to our uh, office. Uh -huh. I want to appreciate your efforts so far. Um, towards ensuring uh -huh. uh, entrenchment of democracy ensuring in Nigeria. Towards ensuring. Um, I. Yes. Uh, we. We. I. We. we um, he knows are nothing. Very desirous to have yes. credible uh -huh. and um, uh, people oriented. Uh, uh, Who is close your phone, my friend? Uh, President. Uh -huh. Um, the election of next year. We um, we've actually be we believe very strongly that um, if the process leading to the election is free, he can't even ready, talk to a, a old woman. Course, there will obviously be peace in the country. In which peace? Believe that if the process is compromised, yes, uh, which have been compromised process, already. Uh, it's not fair. Yeah. Then of course. You know, uh, uh, let me give you people an idea what is happening now. The this our brother now, uh, which is uh, he lack he lack ability to reason. He don't reason. He was pleading. He was begging Katrina line for how to help them to secure the election so that they will not lead the election. And the Catalan as a lord, he may not fire off our now na, na, then they answer Lord. Like the one idiot that is rotting today in, 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 in a grave called Lugard that come to Amaga Motors together. All of they then know how to answer Lord. We no, we don't know. But you see, now he's talking to the Lord to tell them way out. This woman, she is from Britain, far away Britain. Almost six to seven hours to get to that contraption called Damini Buzo. Now he's telling you and you are begging to her to go and tell his colleague to come and help you people so that INEC will not leave the election. And you know yourself that they have already leaked the election. <laughs> hey, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. Oh my. Travel is a real education. Travel is a, but not for everybody. Believe him, not for everybody. Because I know some of people that have traveled, they came to Europe, America, the school, later they go back to that contraption, the same primitive is still working on them. I don't know. Let us continue how our brother can even speak English. Um, 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 we, you, I, you, is shaking. A common, you are speaking to a common fellow human being. You are shaking. You are, Abu Visa. If you say you are going to take a visa now, we will say, okay, maybe you have shot a word that you want to say something. When you say, okay, let me put it. You are talking to a woman, a common woman. You can't even open. Or would the woman will sack your what? I hope you qualify before they tell you to come and have some talk with the woman. That is exactly what they see, that you are, you are the one that qualified to come and speak with her. And you are now there. In a man, that is to tell you that these people, oh, 
<laughs> Let us continue. Let us see our brother. <laughs> the roots yeah. obviously be peace. Mm -hmm. uh, we appreciate the fact that uh, the country has been going through numerous challenges. Yes. As a result of uh, insecurity. Of course, he, she never talked about insecurity. Of issues with uh, the economy. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, today, people are poor. Majority of our people are poor. Just, just imagine. You know what? There's something I want you people to keep on listening. Let me move it back where our brother start, please. What you are going to be listening is like, as the man is speaking, Katrina will be saying, mm -hmm. uh, okay, all right. Uh -huh. I mean, like he's begging her, or now you're on now, on now, on now, all like they were not well here <laughs> in your own country. Somebody is deciding for you. That is what he said. Middle belt will be their willing tools, and the south we can never allow them to take their own decision. We can never allow them, we can't. That is exactly what he's playing today. We all if you enough now. Let us continue. Let's see our brother will not talk again. I want you people to pay attention, please. In the country. Believe that if the process is compromised, uh -huh. uh, if the process uh, is not fair, uh -huh. then of course uh, there won't obviously be peace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we appreciate the fact that uh, Hey, the country has been going through numerous challenges as a result of uh, insecurity. We've also had a lot of issues with um, the economy. Uh, um, today, people are poor. The majority of our people are poor. They are hungry. Even the Bureau of Public Enterprise, the, the Bureau of Statistics, recently re re um, um, in the, their recent figures. Um, and if you ask this man, he say, he say, doctor, or professor, million Nigerians this man is poor. Mm -hmm. Out of the two hundred and thirty million Nigerians, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and the people generally believe yes. that the numerous challenges that we have in the country is as a result of poor leadership, it's as a result of cumulative leadership failures over the years. And the people are therefore determined to have a you, you, you see, we are going to go. You see where I say that Africa, with their primitive life, can never stop. In the the the, the uh, Queen Elizabeth II, that uh, wrote a Congress letter to dead Bugari. They told you that Bugari have died, and today the man is still parading himself. The same people that write the Congress letter there, they are the same people that withdraw it and begin to see the tell you say Bugari is alive. You see, I don't know when our people will understand. You are complaining to who? You are complaining to Kat Katrina Line that they are the people that they are going to select who is going to be there. You are telling him you people want this, that the problem in Nigeria is about the leader. So you think that these people don't know? These people are the, those that are piloting all these, all these things. They are the people that are putting those people that are going to be the, in power. And they are still the same time you are complaining to her. And how do you want her to help you? They are the engineer. They are the people behind your, your, your presidency. They are fear of your people. They are the people that are controlling your resources. To the extent that they discovered uh, 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 Californium, one of the most expensive, you know, material, raw material in the zoo, they are the people that are controlling it. And now you are, you, you are, you want them to advise you. So you want now Catalan Line to advise you to tell you, uh, we want Nigeria to be good. If Nigeria is good today, that is their downfall, and there is no how they can make you benefit all those things you are talking about as britain as it they are today the kids are getting salary they are paying the young kids that they are from 16 years down uh, 18 years down down to the the zero zero they are paying them today but where they are taking the resources 
People are not eating even three square meal. One square meal a day is a very problem for people in that contraption. Go to Oju Eleb where people are sleeping on that bridge. Go to Opi Wake and you see how people are sleeping where they are putting their dustbin. This is a country that me and you know that they have rated the sixth oil producing country in the world. But to eat food is a problem. Who are those make it to be that way? The same people you are running to, to come and help you, to, to help you to stable your, your system. How do you think that these people will help you? How? People that are eating from you, like all these autopilot, auto halots, they are patient on us, a parasite, patient on us, Sucking our blood, and you want them to come and help you to, to, to restructure. Oh, God damn it. Are they not talking about restructuring Nigeria? Is it not the same Britain, Scottish, Scotland, ask for referendum? Because they are white. They allow them to carry it up. The same Britain, you know, make referendum to go away from the uh, European Union. But the same Carolina is telling you that you are, their, their, their tax is to make Nigeria to remain one. You see, that is why you can never escape this, you know, poverty that they are coming from your oppressors. Those people you are thinking they are coming to help you, they are those that are killing you. I will also bring you out what is happening in France. Even though now their president, their prime minister now is the one shouting, we must allow these people to go. Africa needs decolonization. That is what we need. You see all this thing you, some people are talking about cancellation of debt. It's not going to help us. Because then we keep on giving African debt. You know, like they are, they are helping them. So that they can be able to suck you. Because they know that you cannot pay that debt. They know that those people that are giving, they are, you know, borrowing this money. They know that they are going to, you know, store the money and bring it back to them. Because that is where I always see African people that for these people to change is very hard. You will go to something like a, a Dubai. You borrow money from Arab Bank. You still take the money to Dubai and go and buy houses. Now you understand what I'm talking about. You will see somebody, you go to China. You go to China and borrow money you want to build a railway. You will squander the money, you will take it to Great Britain and build and buy estates. Because that is why they will keep on borrowing your money. The African people, especially that contraption, they don't want to work. They just want to be eaten already made. They don't want to, you know, Build like factories, infrastructure, build a, a refinery so that their people can work. No, they want to put their people down and sell that crude oil and return crude oil out as a petrol. They will take everything by themselves and now make your people, I mean, make the people there, they will put them in poverty, hunger, they will begin to beg. Now they will stay on top. Like the way it's working, I mean, the way the Fulanis are using by their uh, fiddle system. Let us continue and see our brother before I move on. And the only opportunity they can do that is this opportunity that is afforded every four years yes. to, for the people to vote and be able to change leadership. Expectations are therefore very, very high, as you can see, especially among the young people. And going by the figures released by INEC just yesterday, yes, the young people are more in number. Uh -huh. Yes, I saw that. Interesting. And therefore, um, young people are desirous to have changes in government. Mm. And therefore, the oh. young people can come freeness. Tinubu has told you that he's a youth. Tinubu said that he's a youth man. Fair and credible. And you, now you see. Um, I want to say that as we speak today, yes. the Labour Party and its presidential candidates uh -huh. um, 
appears to be the most popular candidate mm -hmm. within among the candidates. Mm -hmm. And we are popular among the uh, youths mm -hmm. and the very, very vulnerable in the society. Let, 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 me, let, me, let, me, let me tell this man, you know, some of our people don't even understand. This man is... Uh, I think uh, uh, internet uh, media have taken the time of this man because this man is watching so much media. He's watching so much what the activities in the social media, which is not going to help him. They have brought out a new registration numbers. Apart from the one that is there already, I don't know why I did not put it here because I did not listen to this man up to here. The new registration, you know, numbers that are going to vote in this 2023 they are telling you the new registration kaduna is the highest kanu kastina are you understanding what i'm saying this is the people that are new vote i mean the new registration people that are registered new they are telling you that anambra is last they are telling you that akwa Yibo is zero they are telling you bayasa they nobody come at all now tell me how are you going to win these people you know these people can't even reason you know when you are talking about god uh, 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 um, what they call it i have forgotten this word god for that reason you don't even know that british people are the the king of all these people they know the people they want they have already selected who will be there. After they announce it, they will tell you, but you know they have voted now, they have announced it now, what are we going to do? Uh, wait for next four years. But in the same British, a woman can be a prime minister under three months, they will push her out, she will come out there, another person will come. The woman is not trying to tell you, why can't you bring you people bring that system? When you see that this person there is corrupt, push him out, push her out, and bring somebody. No, he will not tell you. He will tell you, remain four years, he's going to end in four years, he's going to end in eight years. Now, probably, uh, God will help you people to bring new people. Hi. Let us see a little bit more idiocy from our brother. I call him my brother, but he don't reason. Let us see small. Let me go further because we are not going to continue here. We are going to be taking it small, small, so that people will understand. And therefore, we believe that the only way we can have peace yes. is where the process is transparent. Uh, so you know. The process is open. The uh -huh. process is not skewed. Yes. And therefore, whatever will be the outcome, generally people will uh, accept our greatest challenge, yes. however, is that the party has been under serious attack. Who is attacking the your government? Who? The party. The party officials yes. have been under terrible attack. So you don't know before. Uh, Tinubu is there now. In Kaduna, for instance. The, Tinubu is there. Um, um, women leader was killed in Kaura. Uh, the, 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 hey, my friend, they get out from here. I don't want to. Uh, this we will talk about this in another day. Let me, let me, let me go to other things that we have. There is complaining the one person they kill in Kavanshan, in Daura. The man is talking about one person they killed. Yes, human being is a human being. We are not going to, you know, run away from that or shy away from that. Of course, we are all human. We we are going to protect humanity. But he's talking about one single person that died in uh, in Daura by killed by Boko Haram that they themselves created because of Jonathan and now he's turning against them this man did not talk about our people they massacred in Enugu state which Uguanya up to date never said any single word they are there supporting the candidate their own candidate but they are killing their own people now you understand our people have gone beyond to return back, they have taken out. As you go back here, how poor you cook, how poor you are, how poor you call is here, and the address where you call is here. Find the picture for. If what they will show you, and you before you speak, sir, they have already shown you. Remember this, eh? 
plus the small money they tell you to squander, they will bring all of them together. You will run, go back. Where is Willie Obiano? Nowhere to be found. Now you understand. Peter Obi says he's not giving Shishi. Who cares if you give Shishi or not? Now let us go to another one. You know why I'm bringing this? I want to bring you a Belima. Why I'm saying this? I want every one of you that is here, please, I want you to tag. I want you to tag the Nigerian media rooms. They should come and hear. Because they will tell us to stop. I'm not going to stop. When I see something that is not, it's not in order, I will come and tell the world. Tomorrow they said that we did not say about it. It's IPOB Mazen Namdekano. We will keep on defending ourselves. We will keep on telling the world we are not involved. Now I'm bringing it to the, to the notice of that contraption and the international community that they should know because very soon when I say not YPOB Mazen Namdekano. Because you people don't want this man to be out. Because imagine Nandekano, if imagine Nandekano out, only word that we, we, he will talk. All these people, they are following all this, my Pito, Pio, my Tiku, Abubaka, my Tifupu, all of them will just run about. They will make you turn. That is why they are still holding him. People listening to Mazin Nandekano. Being you, Yoruba Odudua. Being you from Middle Belt. Being you, even the Alamajiri Fulanis, Alamajiris, they are listening to Mazin Nandekano. Are you talking about it? Old Eastern region. If you don't listen to him, who are, then who are you listening to? They don't want to free him. And all of them, but those people, man, there's no on any mountain, all of them is true. Because that is the reason why. That is why my anger. We could have go to Kenya. We will travel to Kenya. I keep on repeating this. Do you know the reason why Sunday Boho is free today? Of course, he may not be free to go back to that contraption. But he's free in every Europe. He can travel. He, by now, with Sunday Boho, we have a document. Because he's a very, he will be a very high, uh, 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 um, what they call it, a political, by seeking political asylum. He will be in higher level because he's somebody that is well known. They will give him everything he wants. By now, Sunday Boho will have a document. Every, to travel everywhere. They just come to Sunday Boho. All of them, we are shouting. Yoruba come out. Hey, they don't catch our man. Oh. Hey, we are not going to allow them. Everybody begin to buckle your belt. Oh. Everybody begin to shout. Oh. The same thing happened to Onen to Mazen Nam the Kano. That is, he, he have been shouting. He have been preaching. Now they caught him. They say we should know. Oh, okay, and now he is in Nigeria now. Today now he's in TSS dungeon. The same thing now. They don't want us to listen to, from one source. This one will go, come back, say Mazen Namdekano said. This one will go, come, Mazen Namdekano said. Mazen Namdekano said. Ma but this is something that we could have prevent. Even though if Mazen Namdekano, they, they put Mazen Namdekano in Kenya prison, it's very, very easy for anybody to visit Mazen Namdekano, for Mazen Namdekano to have communication with people. Because Mazen Namdekano did not commit any crime, even though to Nigeria people, talk less of Kenya that it has nothing to do with them. He will have a free hand. When the Iboho was in prison in Bene, every people, Yoruba people, are going there to visit him because he has access. He can visit. Anybody can go there and visit him. That is something I'm asking. Why in our own? Our own is different. I say it happened on okay, here. At the end, there are four months in Namdekano, na court in Abuja with Shane up. He, he, he. At the same time, you are telling us that the leadership have to know better. All this thing is something that sometimes is paining me a lot. Is paining me. You know, if it's like we, we did all these things and the Mazin Nandekan at the end, they renditioned him, then we will know that we tried our best. But I'm telling you people, there is no two ways about it. We know the treaty that Nigerians sign. We know the treaty. We have reason, we have make a research. And you will understand that if Mazin Nandekan end up in Kenya prison, let me just put it that way, they can never rendition him. It's impossible. Because there is a treaty between Nigeria and international community that this person, his life may be in danger. According to exactly what they are doing to Mazen Nankan today, they have seized his glass. They are not giving him his medication. As far as we can prove all this thing that Mazen Nankan's heart is in danger, he will remain in Kenya. 
He's going nowhere. He's going nowhere. He's going nowhere. But when I ask the question now, I say, "Uno mo kesi si amia." O kwa ke uno mo kesi si amia kesi si amia na maazi na mi kanu na 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 Nigeria na ataf. Kono na Ghana, ilizikia rap kui obras. The same thing now we are telling people on election. You will be shouting now, money and we are going to do this, you are going to do that. I'm asking you if Peter will be look, I, I I hope I hope that I have that video. Let me bring one video if I have it here. What a, a, a guy asks a question. If this guy loses election, what is going to happen? Now see the reaction of uh, people, the, the youths. <laughs> Hi, oh, oh, I say. Did I have it here? I hope. I hope I have it. If I don't have it, it's, uh, it's going to be another day. If I don't have it here. What they are, the reaction of the youths concerning Chubin case. One person was asking the question. Chubin case, if P2B lost the election, what are, we, what are you people going to do? That is what we are saying. You, you, all this revolution they are talking about. People, of, I have said it. Only what can help us is bacchanization. Because most of people that find themselves in that contraption, they have already used, they can never use their common sense to reason, to understand. They will tell you next four years. I think, uh, let me try if I can see if I don't find it, 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 it may be. Uh, uh, uh. And where I find that video is from one guy they call Ochekebo. The guy that make he always make a, I think he's making a prank. He's making prank, I think. Where is the, let me see here. Maybe he's here. Let me see if he's here. Wow. No, 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 no. Let us go to another topic, please. I don't find it. Let me go. Um, <clears throat> what I want you people to see now is a berima. A berima. A berima. A berima he, he is the one now saying there will not be election in Biafra land. That is the second topic. I know some of our people are running helter scatter. Some of our people don't even understand. They will say, I saw one idiot, one nonentity. He was saying that if I see anybody say that no election in Biafra land or anybody say uh, we, we don't have election and we are not going to interfere, we are not, I mean like we are not going to tell people not to vote, that uh, he will fight. I say you are very stupid. What is your problem? What is constant in life is change. That is what I want to tell people. Mazin Namdekano talk about the Anambra election. Now listen, listen to me very careful. Before I will show Ibirima what Ibirima said. Because tomorrow they will also target on IPOB Mazin Namdekano. That is why I have to show it now. And I want you people to tag Nigerian media room so that they will come and hear. Makoko Kahasi, some of they think that they don't know what they, all of them, they are the same thing. They are working with Eberima. Eberima is working with them. They are the people are telling Eberima, disrupt the, the election in Biafra land so it will affect P2B. P2B himself is another idiot that knows nothing. I'm just, you see, when I'm saying this, people will say, you are supporting this. No, I'm not supporting P2B. But that is exactly what they want to do to P2B. So that nobody will come out, they will begin to shoot, everybody will run away, and the election in Yoruba land and the Fulani land will be going on. At the end, either Tifubu or Atiku will win. Now they will tell you, eh, yeah, you are you, you are the people that make P2B, eh, eh, no, they nobody vote for him. That is what we are saying now. We are not involved. So that P2B is not going to blame us tomorrow before you go up or P2B pain and if and why. It's not about Mazen Namdekano. It's not IPOP. They're going to jitay Berima with the autopilot, autopilot. You people should go and hold them now. Because why we are saying this? Not be tomorrow. You say, eh, Mazen Namdekano, IPOP, they are the people that stop election in Biafra land. We are not involved. And we are saying it now so that every one of you will hear it. 
Because I'm saying this now, not tomorrow you come to blame or say, eh, we are the one. No, we are not the one. Let me intro, let me tell you people what happened during an Anambra election. Mazin Namdekan told us not to go and vote. That is when we started this, is this thing from the beginning. And the reason why Mazin Namdekanu did that because Mazin Namdekanu lived in England long and he studied there. He understand how the system is supposed to work because he was thinking that the same thing can be applied to Nigerian people. But uh, little did Mazin Namdekanu know. He later understands say, Africa with their primitive. It cannot work that way. No. Mazin Namdekanu said no election in Biafra land. When Mazen Nam, they cannot understand that for you to say no election in Biafra land, that even though if only one person votes, they are going to win the election. They are going to announce who won the election. Mazen Nam, they cannot lift it. He is the one that brings this idea of no election because he thought that the same thing that is happening, in, because in, let me say in Germany here or in, in England, if they are voting, and the people did not turn out for that vote, and you did not see no line, you did not see nobody voting, they will cancel that election. They must cancel it. They will say, the citizens have spoken. We must look into what these people are saying before we continue the election. But it's opposite in Nigeria now. It's opposite. So when we understand that only one person vote, they will announce the vote because they have already selected who will be there. What they will do is for them, they will shatter 20 buses into 2,000, 20 seaters, seaters into 2,000, put Alamajri there, throw them into Biafra land, just make one line. They will capture them. They will tell you they have already voted. Now you understand. You see the way they play their game. It's not the way Mazen Namikan was thinking about it. it. When he understand, he said, no, this thing can never work. And when the first time Mazen Namikanu says sit at home, no election in Biafra land, I was saying yes, we have gotten these people. But the little did I know, I don't know that we did not shake all these people at all. They just uh, bring foreigners now, throw them into Biafra land, put one, uh, one, 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 one ballot box, take a picture, send it to international community. Everything was successful. That is what happened. And we are not going to repeat that. We are not, we are not going to, we are not going to double into that again. No, 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 not for us. So we are telling you people the reason why we said we are not going to comment. We are not going to tell you to vote. We are not still the same time. We are not going to tell you not to vote. But we, IPOB, under the leadership of Mazen Namikan, we don't know what is election. But if you are waiting for us to come out and begin to shout no election, no, to go up or no. And nobody, we are not waiting for anybody to blame us again. Don't blame us. Don't turn our people against us. Because that is your people's plan to turn Biafran people against Mazen, Namdekano, and IPOB. And we are saying no. You are not going to turn our people against us. We, are, we have learned. Please, my daughter, please, please. We have learned. The same thing we want to repeat. They want us to come out and be shouting no election, no election, no election. Now, tomorrow P2B will lose. They will say we are the one that caused P2B to lose the election. We are not going, we are not in, in, we have passed that level. What is constant in life is change. And that change is what we want to do. We we allow our people to go out there and do what they want. Tomorrow when they fail, they will come back and tell us we are sorry. And we are going to accept them. Because we are not coming to kill our people to accept our theology. We are coming to lecture them, to tell them what they don't know. When it will happen to them, they will turn around and say we are sorry. We have understood. That is what we are doing. Now listen to it, Benima, what he said. Uh, have, you, have you people invited the Nigerian media rooms? Uh, are they here? Channel television, I hope they're here. Arise television, that's more thing they have jumped out, begin to say, IPOB said, IPOB said. Are you people here? I want you people to tag them. I listen to what Benima said. And I will show his face. I'm not leaving anything. I will show the world. So when it will happen, they will know that we know what we are saying. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. <coughs> wait. <coughs> wait. Wait. Oh, yeah. Wait. You are coward to be saying.
saying it publicly. You are a coward. Is that how to campaign? Is campaign now between yourself? Campaign is between you and the people. Come and ca convince the people. Convince the people. Organize campaign. You can't have it because we control Biafra land. We control we Biafra land. We never allow any political activities to take place in Biafra. We so can we to say this we thing. control Biafra land. We can never allow any election activities to happen in Biafra land. Are you people listening? Are you have you people heard it? Let me repeat it again. Because him and Obu, I, 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 you know, I believe in reality. When I do something, when I say something, I will show you so that you will see. Because oh God, that happen. What will not happen? Let us repeat it again. You are a coward to be saying it publicly. You are a coward. Is that how to campaign? Is campaign now between yourself? Campaign is between you and the people. Come and ca convince the people. Convince the people. Organize campaign. You can't have it because we control Biafra land and we will never allow any political activities to take place in Biafra. So what I'm trying to say this evening is that if you have a secret campaign and without, like, unannounced campaign, unannounced rally, we know the date of the election. That we know the happened. date of the and election. That's why we say that our eyes is on the is ball. On the ball. Okay. What matters is that we, we know, know the, the date, date of the election. election. That is all. That is all. We don't care. No, it's okay. That is all. <laughs> you know, you know, that is why I so much love social media. Whatever you say with your mouth is what Mazo can know. Can you be a franchise much like I will use against you? I'm not coming here to fabricate lies. I'm not coming here to concord story to lay allegation on you. The answer is no. I bring what you said from your mouth so that you can never deny it. I call them. They send me to criminal police. High. But that is exactly what come out from their mouth. Now you understand. When they will do all this thing, channel television on the alarm, they will still say, Mazen Nam the Kanu, IPOB, uh, their fashion, fashion of IPOB, fashion of this, fashion of this. I copy your blue story. Now, I just show you people, I don't want to dwell on this idiot. You people have heard it. Let us move forward. I am not coming here to talk about him, but no, can Bakuni Foku make I say what he said? Call Alebuna tomorrow. You know, let me go to uh, Christianity. In I, uh, you know, I heard Radio Biafra this morning, and this is also our brother, our brother, our brother, our brother, a fearless man himself. This man is a fearless, a fearless man. Now they are threatening his life. Ugo Shinyere, Ugo They are threatening his life. They have born all his what he said here. We need help in Oka Akuawa, the not local government. My uncle has just been killed now. They are setting everything on fire. Please help. Oh, yeah. Oh, Pozo Demba. Anybody that went to you know, visit or talk about Mazen Namdekano, they will say, bring him, let us kill him. Uh, maybe Mazen Namdekano have tell, told him something. And, uh, you know, say, this will go shinyere. Ako okwa. Ide ato. Ako okwa, ide ato. Not local government. Ako okwa, ide ato. Ide ato. Yes, ide ato local government. Ike Gimo State. It's lamenting. It's lamenting. They have killed his brother. They have killed his brother. Because he's saying the truth. Because he's telling hope. Why do you want to deceive our people? Why are you bringing them from Kafanshan, from Dawora to Ad, to Imo State? And you know that this name is uh, Mohammed the Musa. How Mohammed the Musa had something doing with somebody that is senior, uh, Efani. This is how they deceive. Uh, let me go further. Oh, Kono Fukensi Achogaria. But in Ghana, but she has a she has a one 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 lady. The 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 what the, the personal assistance to hope was on them. 
the one that is uh, underground operating with a killer squad. They, are, they say they are cooking for me. You people are cooking for me. <laughs> hey, they are French child. They are French child. How can I wait for me? You will go do today. You have set the record straight. You have said, okay, let me tell you people why Nigeria can never be well. In the ocean, a Jewish brothers that went to Africa, went to Nigeria, they kidnapped them. As they kidnapped them, they, 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 they put them inside, see them here. See, see. We are going to listen to our brother. That is uh, what international community have to be seeing. To know that Nigeria is no-go area. Any of you that is traveling to Nigeria, being you and a foreigner, Make sure, make sure you protect yourself. I will tell you, even though, don't go there. Don't, don't try it. Don't try it. If you want to try it, you always go where there is a people. If you misplace yourself, my friend, my, then you will become their target. Let us listen to these people, what these people said about the zoo called Nigeria. Now, now let us listen to what they said about zoo called Nigeria. You will see Nigeria is a, Nigeria is headquarter of terrorism. Now listen. I mean, we've been in and out of Africa this entire year because our documentary is a documentary series on all the different communities. It's in Nigeria, Uganda, oh, Tanzania, so Zimbabwe, great. South Africa, great. Madagascar, Cote d'Ivoire, Ethiopia. And so Nigeria was the first place that we went to. Yeah. We were there for two days, had one of the most beautiful experiences I've had in my life, reconnecting with our family that we haven't seen for thousands of years. Which is what? And is on the third day in the morning, there's 15 armed gun militants that pull up to our hotel. Yes. Black ski masks, throw us into a van drag us into a prison 12 hours away, and we were three weeks in a prison. The first week, they didn't give us food, only water, and the second two weeks, they transferred us to a cage with two Boko Haram terrorists, a wing of ISIS that was in Nigeria, and uh, we had to fight to survive. Okay. But the reason for why the government did this is wow. because they are still persecuting the Igbos. Right, yeah. still to this day, this is a reality. Not many people are talking about it, and no, I'm putting my life yeah. at danger by, by talking sure. about it because I'm in and out of Africa, but I'm not afraid because these are my brothers and sisters. It do you, uh, I think we are going, uh, we are, we, we are going to listen to it. You see how they are prosecuting us in that contraption. The Igbos. We are going to listen to it again. And I know every one of you will pay attention very well. Let us go back. Because you went to jail? Yeah. I mean, we've been in and out of Africa this entire year because our documentary is a documentary series on all the different communities. It's in Nigeria, Uganda, oh, Tanzania, so Zimbabwe, great. South Africa, great. Madagascar, Cote d'Ivoire, Ethiopia. And so Nigeria was the first place that we went to. We were there for two days, had one of the most beautiful experiences I've had in my life, reconnecting with our family that we haven't seen for thousands of years. And on the third day in the morning, are those there's 15 armed gun militants that pull up to our hotel with black ski masks, throw us into a van, drag us into a prison 12 hours away, and we were three weeks in a prison. The first week, they didn't give us food, only water, and the second two weeks, they transferred us to a cage with two Boko Haram terrorists, a wing of ISIS that is in Nigeria, and uh, we had to fight to survive. But the reason for why the government did this is because they are still persecuting the Igbos. Right, yeah. still to this day, this is a reality. Not many people are talking about it, and yeah. I'm putting my life yeah. at danger by by sure. talking about it because I'm in and out of Africa. But I'm not afraid because these are my brothers and sisters. Okay, so what's going on? Uh, another thing that I want to say, of course, uh, this brother he, he also let the international community know the kind of uh, you know treatment that the Igbos are going passing through in that contraption. But uh, all these our brother, we are brother. One nanya na ife je me ife. Una cousin a brother no no. I got a mother brother aye but brother aye but no no get nanya aye pro give us a fight or two aye see a protect in the allow one see give their own brothers things. You you people in Israel today they are protecting themselves not by ibebele no. With ife nyungu agan ifu umu anya masirama riches wakwa ifu ufu ufu abro ife me be anya na si ife mo si sinaro. Oh, they fight. Oh, this is the kind of brother we want. You people should support us. You understand? We are evil people. Now, let us continue. Now, uh, now, 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 the one that is making broadcast that a whole opposer them one is planning 
Abro pa na ni aka na plan no na ndi ana plan o ka nko ni ma no ilik e secret fa fa na bu o hope us dem ba ye i have told you people hope us dem ba ise for one nine he know how to do format but the little did he know he don't know that we are also in the same thing when you throw we rechange it if you throw out your format we rechange it we tell you that if you man i am where when they have a one about today can be a little if any name man i am forget that today that you are part of the part of those that are killing our people in biafra land or because you are one of the fulani boy boy who is calling this line you can't call this line please you can't you can't you can't call this line uh so let us listen to our brother our brother who oh, who's a demboss in the actual you know kai no ni fo kuru no nwere fo kuru no nu ya ya ma na atukwa ojo ade mu ana agwa kwa oto bu ojo etukwa no ojo hapukwa ho bu na ya agwa pugo hafo oketa agwa pugo hafo that is when they will go back and reply obro na ni this our brother no this man obro na ni aka na plan o there are many people if we if at begin both mu myself they are planning ka ta age am but they don't know the little they know they don't know that we are in europe one day they are here, boom. Let me tell you one thing. They must age the nalego. So let us listen to our brother, Nonso. Let us listen, Nonso. Always you can follow the men of God. You follow the Kochukwa Bogori. Muna ekwenti na sim ne kwanya na na afu. Hapo kwa ngendo Kochukwa. Hapo hana ma ma pia wodo na. Marotum si aba. Marotum si eme. Ama me na wata. Yes. Ama na no ma eke ne chukwa kika pia mani ne chukwa ndio telumano. We na baro mama. Chupu uri wana nyungoke onyema maro nyopo. Mekwe ni ho ni ho video we to saya. Onya meishi. Onya meishi oba. Confirmo. Befa umu chuku ndo kuchuku umu chuku kika biya mafalum. Hapo kuko hapo wana hapo kuko chuku. Abi heru kwenye namu. Mana kebe sio kubo na chuku kika biya mabaha nama. Yes, how awesome. Chuku kika biya mabaha nama. Rana ato matudi na hana ato alala di fa boso na kana ndum na ni me chuku ndum na ni me chuku kika biama abalo ni ibo ni chuku kika biama mani ebute mu otu a abalo ni mamu mu chuku kika biama mani mamu bute mu eh ise ada me na yote ana wote ana ma wote abalo ni ibute mu chuku kika biama chuku mu biafra mani ebute mu bunga otu a wana mi jogo mu chuku kika biama ezo kuki ni wabale ya kambo Just holding him so that uh, because I'm an amazing name the kind of potter. Of who could have put an on or no one at all, or you don't. They don't want Mazin name the kind to get to our youths. Him and Diana Mani Sieno. Kahawarana Hafia. Mazin, if you release Mazin name the kind today, eh? You see all this to Fubu now, Mani, you know, now, 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 now,
No, so I want to forget me. Let me see if I have that football video. A, a non entity, a drug, a drug ballon, go to our land, begin to warn the great people of Biafra. Now, Bahani again has like the loaf bread. I'm on the honor COVID. Idiot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let us hear. Let us hear. Let us hear Tinubu. What he said about. Wait, listen. 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 A whole. A. A candidate, a whole a party candidate that is fighting to be a president are now condemning an ethnic, you know, a group of people, a group of indigenous people, telling them if you don't vote me, you will be marginalized till the kingdom come. And he said all these things. If such a thing happened in America, of course, it can never happen because they are one people. Why Tifubu is saying this is because we are not one people. If we are one people, he can never say so. But I'm telling you, if such a thing happen, go to Kanye West. I just want to give you a people example. Go to Kanye West. Do you know that Kanye West was he, he was a, 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 a number one, you know, richest rapper in America? Today they have dropped his money from eleven billion to how much? To to how many million? To seven million dollars because he says something against a group of people. He did not go on individual. That is where the problem of Kanye West is. If he, he could have go on individual. Those people that are managing the music industry, he begin to call their names. Call their names. Don't call the group. Don't call Jewish people. No. Call those people. But now he make a mistake and go and call the whole people. They say you. But they know. But the same thing. But nobody will give all of you any credit. You are working hard. You are sweating now. You are working hard. You are sweating we now. Want you to sweat well for this party. Yes. Until you deliver Viva victory. Victory. Until Bola Tinubu be became the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It's just they are clapping. In Enugu, in Enugu, they are clapping. They are clapping to this idiot, APC candidate. Slide of bread. Our people is there sheepishly clapping to Tifubu. Our people. Let me go to the pastor's people. I like I said, I listened to Radio Biafra today. This morning, I saw a man. He was saying that Mazen Nam the Canon said, You can worship whatever you want to worship. Um that uh, you can worship a rat. No, you will go, you get just in the noon, and no one I came on. Mazen and the canoe serego. Mazen and the canoe serego, you worship Satan, you worship who stick, you worship OCC, you worship your own struggle. Mazen and the canoe serego when Biafra comes. The religious people, leaders, are one of the major problems we have today. They don't want to tell the people the truth. They don't want to let you know that the government is the God that you are seeing. They are those in that position to provide for you. Chukwo Kikabi and myself have created us on this planet Earth to multiply, to make research, and use things that is in our environment, like all these mineral resources we are seeing today. It's already there. It has been there for thousands of years. But when you discover it, you begin to use it. I am living today in Germany. There is a factory, companies, different kind of business here and there. Who are those that set it up? 80% of companies that are here are under the government. People, government are helping them to, you know, to open the company so that people can work. But in Africa, a man will tell you, you have no job. You have, there is no income coming. 
Unfortunately, your brother sent you some money from Europe. You will now take the money to a pastor to pray for you, for you to become a rich person. Why you have no business? Why you are doing nothing? And you think it will work? I want our people to know that the most problem we have today in Africa, they are religious leaders. Plus, Facebook. But I want to go to the, to the mostly the religious leaders. Next time we are going to talk about the traditional trad traditionalists, all those people in Zuoshi. We are going to talk about them. But today I want to talk about the religious leaders. The Europe that I am today here in Germany, when you talk about the religion, they are the people that are helping people. When you are an a political asylum person, the religious uh, I mean society, I mean like they call them here characters. They are the people that are going to give you a free house. They are going to be paying you every month. They are going to pay your transportation. But in Africa, it's opposite. They will now tell you to pay tight. That if you don't pay, that God will not bless you. That is why you see in Africa today, there is no job. There is no, you know, poverty is everywhere. And the government are not doing their work. Now, the religious leaders find opportunity to set up a place instead of them to build a factory. Now you understand what I'm saying. Instead of them to build a factory company for people to work, they use it to go and build one house. Call it church. Begin to extort from our people telling them to sow seed, telling them to pay tight, that God will bless them. And you know there is no factory that you can work. Then tell me how God will bless you. And this is the question I'm asking every day. How can God bless you? And there's a, another thing that I, I still, you know, when I'm talking about dark ages, it does not mean that you are now in Europe, that your sense of reasoning have changed. The answer is no. There is a lot of our people that have been in this Europe for 20 years, but they are still living primitive lives. You will see somebody in Europe still paying money to a pastor in Nigeria. But the money you are making in Europe, you are going for a work. You work. They pay you salary every month. And you are still believing that somebody will pray for you and money will come. How stupid you are. How stupid you are. You will see our mothers here that they are cleaning the old people here. They are working double shift. Double. They will see from here from here. They will make all this money. They will push it to Africa. At the same time, they will keep on paying tight. And you are working double shift. In Europe, those people with their age, they're supposed to be doing only one single job. But in Africa, people that come from came from Africa here, they are working double shift. At the same time, they will say the pastor said. Now let me show you people the kind of uh, the kind of thing that you will see in a, in a, in Africa. A pastor is telling you that you must pay tight. Let us watch it. <laughs> <laughs> pastor is telling you they are buying fuel. You are coming to church and you are giving 100 naira as offering. That God will never bless you. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I, we, 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 we have a long way to go. Let us see what pastor is telling the, uh, the, his congregation. That you have to pay offering. If you don't pay it, God will never bless you. And I'm asking myself, in Italy, the Italian people, they brought us uh, Christianity, uh, Catholic. And the England brought us uh, Anglican. When you go to England, there is a day that map out for those gay people. They are walking on the street, cover the whole street, gay. The Italy that brought you Roman Catholic, they are doing the same thing. Parade in Saint Alayo. Now, when all of us get this word, you can never tell us. The same Obama legalized 
man to marry a man. Now you understand what I'm talking about. Now our people now carry the religion on their head. On their head. On their head. Wow, 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 wow. I have to. Let me show this. I have to drop now. I am about to go and swim in the every service. Shell to you. He can be a teenager, 100 naira. Shell to you. Go and get a church ever. Shell. Oh, but you have a new son and a dead leg and another man. Go and get a new son and another man. Hey, Peter. Now, this is how they confuse our people. They tell you now that people that pay money are taking blessing. And you that are giving 100 naira, you can never take blessing. The same thing that I'm telling you people here in Europe. This man supposed to be giving, not taking. He's supposed to be giving. Of course, I have to start stop this broadcast here. I have to do something. Uh, even though I just checked my time now, I have to get dressed and... Uh, go where i supposed to go and um, i thank you great people we are going to continue tomorrow we are never stop i'm going to also talk about this uh uh religious uh, leaders and christianity to to african people um what i'm trying to say in a sense is this uh these people are not um, practicing what they are preaching um and we have to understand that this is not the way it's supposed to be um when you don't have an if you don't have a factory or uh, company uh, where you can work and be able to put food on your table. Um, don't think that somebody can pray for you and all these things will begin to happen. There is no manner that is going to fall from heaven. That is something that I want you people to understand. Don't let anybody deceive you. Don't try, let, don't, don't even go there at all. We are going to continue on this and we are going to open all their asses. So I want you people to understand that uh, we have come to stay. We are not going to shy away on this Biafran Restoration Project or those people that are coming to destroy what we are doing in a sense that now we are, you know, we are tackling the, the, the Christianity and uh, some of uh, all these native daughters will surface from nowhere and begin to also, um, at the same time, trying to steal from our people. We are not going to let them go. We are, not, we are going to fight them with whatever we have in our disposal. We are going to fight them and tell them that this is no way of life. This is not our way of life. Hold your government. Hold your government responsible of things that is happening to you. Poverty and hunger, they are the problem. They are, they are the people that are going to fix all this thing for you. From there, our people will start fixing by themselves. Now you understand. I will call it a day today uh, because I have done the justice. I will also come back again tomorrow. We have a lot of things to show to our people. Um, like I said, Mazen Namde can make you bless you. The wife of our lead, who she did here, I Of course, we know the reason why um, they are holding the Mazen Namde Kano. Um, they don't want to release him in a sense that because him and a Mazen Namde Kano who missing Maria Walosia, and, uh, and uh, we know the reason why. Hachoroko opataku, who make who 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 give who a tsunami asuba. So all I can do is say, "Jide shai ke mse faneme." But um, we still stand on Biafran restoration. We are not going to go back. We, we are here and um, uh, we are not going to stop. I greet you, uh, every great, great people of Biafra, those that are here listening to me and watch and those that also do the needful. Um, I'm not begging anybody to share. If you like that, if you feel that is good, that is left for you. Uh, but this awareness, um, we are going to keep on doing what we know how to do best. Uh, Mazen Nam Dekano have uh, already fortified us, show us the way, um, because of this is the reason why we lost the war during 1967 to 1970. Uh, we cannot uh, afford 
to lose it again this time around. That is why you see we are doing everything humanly possible to make sure we sanitize the minds of our people to tell them how this, you know, the ethics of this earth. Because uh, if you don't know, you can never know. I salute you all. Um, I still remain your royal servant, Mazo Kenno Kechuku. Uh, known as the Biafran child in uh, the general, like I said, the best, and um, we are also still praying for Mazin Nam Dioku Chukukano um, that uh, he must and he will, and Chuku Kikabi must protect him and guide him and protect him and give him wisdom to be able to, you know, uh, all this in the Akazu, Oga Wapitra Yonyen Duaye. And we are going to continue without stopping. Like I said, I never back up. I stay on the question and I will keep on asking. You know, for me, from here, I will say good afternoon to every one of you till we see you again tomorrow.